magandang araw mga idol. Isang buksingero ang nakitaan ng malaking potensyal ng isa sa mga legendary coach ng boxing na si Coach Freddy Roach. Ang buksingerong nagpula sa bansang Hong Kong na si Rex Chu. Dahil dito ay nabigyan ito ng pagkakataon na maturuan ni Coach Freddy Roach itong pambato ng Hong Kong para mas mahasa pa ang kanyang husay pagdating sa pakipagbasagan ng muka sa parisukat na lona. Maging ang 5 Division World Champion at kababayan nating si Nonito Dunayri Jr. ay isa rin sa mga humubog sa fighting skills ng pambato ng Hong Kong. Kaya naman ay hindi na tayo magtataka kung bakit nasungkit ni Chu ang WBC Asian Continental Super Flyweight title at ang WBO Asia Pacific Super Flyweight title matapos niyang durugin ang hapon na si Mako Matsuyama noong 2014 via 8th round technical knockout. Ngunit nabulaga ito at nabigla nang minsan niyang nakalaban ang Pinoy boxer at tupong kagayan di Oro Misamis Oriental na si Mike Enriquez. Este Michael Enriquez nang magharap sila taong 2015 buwan ng Marso na ginanap sa bansang Hong Kong. Sa labang ito ay gagawin sanang pampataba ng kartada ang ating kababayan na si Enriquez. Ngunit nagkabali ang in-check sa napili nilang kalaban. Pero bago yan kung ngayon ka lang napadpad sa aking channel, ay huwag mo na rin kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell icon para wala kang malalampasan ng mga upcoming videos pa natin. Ang ating kababayan ay may record na 10 wins with 2 losses, 1 draw, and 6 knockouts habang ang pambato ng Hong Kong na si Rex Chu ay may record na 15 wins and 8 KOs. Tara mga idol! At panoorin natin ang kanilang naging mainit na bakbakan. Protect yourselves at all times. Now, touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Although Ximing is the... A world champion one day. And... But I, there's a lot of martial arts history from Hong Kong. But why can't there be a, a history-making boxer from, from Hong Kong? So the crowd really into his... In I'll call tonight. Look to put on the show. Eddie for himself, but to help. And a strong left. Hurts Enrique is the first strong left that shows man is to land. He wants to build the sport in Hong Kong, make it more popular, open the door for others. And he's coming out very strong here in round number one. And Enrique is a better get into it right now in the early second. Rex Cho dug a body punch, trying to overpower Enriquez. Excited to sign Rexo. He has a very entertaining style. Behind, and Cho takes a hard right hand from his land. 23 years old, a three-year pro. Making his Macau debut, Cow. Rex Cho, that over Espino Sabu. We were here for says the referee. And Enriquez comes straight forward, lands a good left. Rough first minute and a half, but he's but done much better. Takes his... We've had quite a time this week with the absolutely. Ah! Right. Miguel Diaz going to work as the. I don't think he was affected too much, but I don't even know if he even knows that it's there. Ooh, early action here in round two. I'll say Enriquez has come out loaded for bear. Bringing can. Hard right by Enriquez. Or I'll tell you that. Show with a combination. Enriquez is able to evade. Bleeding for a factor in this round so far. Good combination from Rex. Cho has a bit not always using it though in this fight. He's putting himself into punching range of Enriquez and holding. Unusual, he's long arm. You can see he has good hand speed, excellent combination punch. And a lot of them. To the uh, organization's number three. 
Round number two. Rounders. It's been a good one so far. And Enrique is really giving as good as he's been taking in this round. And he is fighting hard. Look at this little whirlwind go to work. You know, he's been all business in there, and you saw that look on his face after the introduction where he was just steely-eyed. But this is a kid who outside the ring smiles easy, laughs easy, and around. Good left hand from Joe. Excellent combination. Intelligent fighting out of him here in round three. It's cool. And he goes... Maybe those who are not with But I don't think he's thinking about any of that right now because he's got a up to Michael Estrada and only took him a minute and a half to do it in his last fight. Good ripping coming. So a lot of these fighters, we have these big parts here, want to get in, get, get in on the action. I tell you, Enriquez has no problem in bringing the fight to Cho. It's fine with him. Hey, this kid wants to fight. And Cho answers back with a straight left hand. Good left hook by... Enrique's in to try to do some damage and follow up, and he does, but when Enrique goes down as he takes a hard left from Cho. Four, it was five, the greatest moment of the six, fight for Enriquez. Seven, eight, and he got caught eight, that hard left and five. went down. We're learning more about Rexo's chin tonight, too, aren't we? My goodness. Both of these fighters have been hit with a lot of clean punches. The legs giving way of Enrique Design. I'll tell you, I think this fight already screams for a rematch regardless of who wins. Pushing down on Enriquez. Not coming. Wild right. For watching, and hopefully, you're being rewarded with this terrific battle. That left just missed. Right uppercut from Cho, overhand. Either fighter hurt. Good right hand to the body by Enriquez to start. This one is scheduled for 10. Rick Cho, the highly touted prospect, is 27. Good right hands to the body by Cho who really is one of those taller fighters as we'd be inside, but seems to enjoy being inside. That's a rare foolhardy at times. It may have been in a couple of occasions. Good exchange, a brawl inside. The fight actually has been fought cleanly between the two, except for that headbutt earlier. Shoulder. Wait, you would never know watching this. Looking for him. Cho is an aggressive fighter. I've seen tall fighters in the past who this was one. Uh, Lance Whitaker, the heavy. They can rough each other up inside. Good right to the body. Ripped by Cho. Enriquez. Such a great event they put on every year. I knew you wouldn't disagree, yes. Rich. <laughs> Let's see who can keep up this pace in the second half of the fight. 
engaging in what would seem to be a war of attrition, although both seem to have kept at this point. Miguel working four corners tonight. Half of the fights he's got his hands full, but he loves it. Who wouldn't want to have him in your corner? Trainer, cut man, motivator, whatever. Translator. Now pushing him into the corner. Let's see if he rips. Crowd encouraging him to do just that. He seems to have Enriquez where he wants him. There's no doubt about it. He's, he's enjoying the combat, wants to engage, but it's costing him at times, and he just again got caught with another shot and got caught with another left hook. If he was hoping for an easy fight, this is by Michael Blade Enriquez. Left hook and a ripping right by Enriquez, who's indefatigable. Get up. Show would be better off at times. Put four punches there. Good right hand. Setting off the exchange. They're gonna say two, but Rika answers people. back. Time for Rex to stay right there. into 30 seconds of the fight. It figured these two half are sparring a little, I guess, because and he's probably been hit with more clean food here. And Macau for Rex was a tough fight. Sabu gave a good account of Harder. I had my doubts in the round one whether Enriquez would last very long with Joe. Enriquez is still right in front of him. He's still punching back. He's still coming forward. So trying to use the ring a little bit here. <laughs> friendly with the fans, the media here. Oh, they really are. Enrique has worked into the body. Both men still working hard here in round nine. Without some of the effect of this, but Enrique is still pushing forward. But still, he's trying to... First hard punch of the round by Enriquez, and Trill walked right into it. Good combination by Cho. And now hard right hand by Enriquez. He is surely a live dog in this fight, Rich. And I mean, if he thinks it's anywhere close, he's going in for the kill. They have had a chance going up here for Enrique Silence to real quick. Another strong combination. And he's finishing the stronger of the two. Yeah, anyone who thought he was in there had just be in a Michael Enriquez tonight. From an energetic rock. Look at little Enriquez go and Cho trying to find the answer. Joe always says he wants to bring excitement to the ring. Sometimes final seconds. Cho unleashes a flurry. Has Enriquez up against the rope. Crowd letting him hear it. Final bell. Terrific. Umabot sa sukdulan sa ikasampung round ang kanilang naging sagupaan mga idol. At nakuha ang panalo by unanimous decision sa pambato ng Hong Kong na si Rex Chu. 
Pero kung babalikan natin ang kanilang bakbakan ay hindi naman nagkalayo ang agwat ng scorecard ng dalawang buksingero. At dito na nga nagtatapos ang ating video mga idol. I-comment nyo naman sa ibaba ng ating video kung ano ang naging opinion nyo sa labang ito. So yun, thank you for watching mga idol at salamat sa patuloy na pagsuporta. Ingat!